Greetings friends of the universe. Today we are going to talk about the dangers of opening your third eye and the entities you may encounter by doing so. Let's start. The pineal gland, also known as the third eye, is a small endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain. The third eye is the gate that opens to the space of consciousness and inner worlds. It is also the main organ through which the body of energy can be awakened and governed. In practice, the third eye acts as a switch which activates higher states of consciousness and experiences of spiritual vision. The third eye was described as the seat of intuitive wisdom, of subtle information, and spiritual or occult power. The famous French philosopher, René Descartes, believed that the third eye was the point where the mind and body met, and so he coined it as the seat of the soul. Opening your third eye can lead to amazing experiences and give you some great powers. The awakening can teach you about this world as well as the spiritual one. Since the internet is full of information on how to open it, many people who are simply not ready rush into opening it without being able to handle the great powers received. The third eye is one of the most powerful centers of energy. Once it's awakened, it acts like a gate into a place that lets you see beyond time and space. Since the third eye is a chakra, and like all chakras, it needs to be slowly opened and healed, not forced into a strained and open state or flooded with energy to empower spiritual sight. Chakras should be worked with consecutively from the bottom to the top, root to sacral to solar plexus to heart to throat to third eye and to crown. Jumping right into third eye opening can not only have you misunderstand that the third eye is part of a whole system of energy, but have you severely imbalance your whole subtle energy body and run into a lot of problems. It can send too much energy to your upper chakras. This can cause feelings of being ungrounded, severe dissociation and disorientation, as well as headaches or migraines and fatigue. You need to understand your third eye's capabilities. The third eye is so much more than sight. It allows for all visualization, daydreaming, intuition, and spiritual hearing. It also provides us with a clear idea of our path in life and guides us through higher wheel, letting us know how to follow it. Most meditations that work on just the third eye neglect all properties besides spiritual sight. You might feel invalidated or lesser if your third eye doesn't naturally see like the normal vision we possess. Not all third eyes see in the same way. You may have incredible intuition, but you might not be able to see energies as clear as day like the person next to you. Honoring the capabilities of your third eye goes hand in hand with mindfully honoring your whole being which is a necessary lesson of any holistic spiritual practice. When your third eye is unbalanced, which is almost always the case, if it is the only chakra opened, then it's common to get a lot of false information. Daydreams seem real. Astral projections is used to cloak spiritual hallucinations and it's hard to discern anything clearly. You need the grounded nature of strong lower chakras to properly get intuitions or to even give readings. If you force open your third eye, you won't awaken the full potential of intuitive, psychic gifts. All spiritual abilities come from a well-rounded and holistic practice and are always the strongest and the healthiest when the whole energy system is considered. Intuition and sight isn't just the third eye. Your whole being can see so your gifts will be stronger if all of your energy is healed together and in a mindful way. Don't compartmentalize the chakras. They are all your whole subtle energy body. If forced open, your third eye will be unfiltered. Do you want to see each and every spirit in the world? Or do you want to only see those that the universe intends you to? 
if you force your third eye open prematurely, like by only working with the third eye chakra and no others, then you won't have the natural and healthy filters that prevent you from seeing frightening and distracting spirits and energies. If you're not grounded, you don't practice spiritual protection, or you're throwing energy off from your third eye, you become a beacon for malevolent spirits. With a forced open third eye, you won't be able to filter out the scary dreams, sights, and intuitions they send you, and it can be very dangerous for your mental health. We strive to enlighten the darkness by diving deep in the unknown. We go in, unprepared, not knowing what we are going to embrace, only because our torch of curiosity leads us ahead. Do not understand this video in the wrong way. We possess our third eye pineal gland for a reason, and we must open it, but I need to warn you of the consequences if you do it without being ready. This experience is connected with a lot of ambiguity. The dark side of this experience can slip you in a chain of unfortunate events if you are not completely aware of the risks. Before you open your third eye, you have to prepare yourself for the unknown. Opening your third eye, you begin to see things, you begin to experience things, and you begin to feel things around you. There are entities around you, but when you have awakened your third eye, you have a connection, and you can actually see them. These are entities in the fourth dimension that we cannot see presently in the third dimension. But once the pineal gland is awakened, your consciousness surpasses the barriers of the physical realm and goes beyond it. Religious people call these entities demons just because they scare them or they want people to be scared. For some people, the element of glimpsing entities from the spiritual realm can turn out to be a real burden. Many have depicted the beings as scary and even evil. When a person's energies are overall drained, he is much more vulnerable to negative influences from the spiritual world. Low energy fields invite unwanted spirits, leaving you feeling frightened and regretful of your choice. Of course, there are good spirits out there, but they can manifest only when your vibration is high. The reason why so many people have overall bad experiences with the third eye is because of neglecting an essential rule. Making sure you have prepared yourself to enter the spiritual world and seeing through the third eye. Here is an example from the story of a person who opened his third eye why he was in a low vibrational state of living. Stress was stacking highly, internal conflicts were on the rise, and with a depression around the corner, I wasn't surprised that my vibration level had hit the bottom. That day, I was writing a post about how to recognize if your third eye is open, and felt that writing that article actually opened my third eye. I could grasp things. I am unable to do in my normal state, like having an increased sixth sense, and intuition about future events. I wrote the article to late at night, and went to bed feeling really sleepy. Everything was okay until I suddenly woke up at 5 a.m., and it was utter darkness in the room. My two roommates were sleeping neatly, and I felt like pulled out of my dream state. So I adjusted myself and decided to go to sleep again, as I had an exam, in only two hours. My eyes were partly closed, and just to fall asleep, when I noticed with my peripheral vision, a tall, white, and transparent vague figure, in the center of the room, staring at me. I don't know where it came from, but I've seen figures, prior to fall asleep, and before. So knowing it won't harm me, I pull my blanket, so it can cover my eyes, and it cannot disturb me. I fell asleep, and have two vivid, ordinary dreams. But then something strange happened. I was brought back to my room, thinking I awoke from my dream state. But I was wrong. I could see myself remotely sleeping in my bed, while in the meantime, being aware. Suddenly, an unpleasant feeling came out of my body, like there was something moving inside of me. 
I had no control over my body, but I didn't want to give up, and tried to fight back. My efforts were unfruitful, so I started yelling for help to my roommates. No voice came out of my mouth, as I watching myself from a side, only muffled, incomprehensible sounds, that couldn't wake up my roommates. I knew that what was happening, is a sleep paralysis, and it's better to keep my composure. At first, I didn't panic, knowing it's happening in my dream state, and I'm totally aware of that. But all of a sudden, a strange power pressed my chest. When I turned my look, in the direction of what was holding me so tight, to my surprise, there was a small figure next to me, white and transparent. It seemed like a little child. I suddenly woke up, and couldn't believe what had happened. Although I had an awareness of my surroundings, and knew it was only a dream, I was immobilized, and couldn't make any movement or sounds. What happened to me, was frightening to say the least, but it made me realize something, that I consider useful, and want to share with you. First, to open your third eye successfully, you must be grounded, and centered. This is a must, so that any horrifying experiences, don't have the chance to unfold. Having high vibrational energy, doesn't allow entities from other dimensions, to manifest, and have power over you. Other dimensions exist, and our dream state, is actually part of the spiritual realm, which we are able to tune in, while asleep. After reading a ton of information, about what happened to me, now I know, that the entities that brought me this scary experience, are different aspects of the personality. In some point of our lives, we ignored, outcast, or hurt ourselves, and when an experience like this happens, the entities, that make us scare, are the ones wishing to be integrated once again, so we can raise our vibration, and enjoy a better life. I believe that this experience, was useful for me to realize, that some things shouldn't be viewed as a game. Dealing with the unknown, you can't allow yourself to be irresponsible. I hope that my story taught you how to deal with the spiritual realm, and demystifies a lot of thing, concerning the third eye. Most of the evil beings and entities you see, are the many and different aspects of yourself. Some of them, will look positive and happy while others, might look scary, and can frighten you, but know that what you see, are aspects, and emotions of yourself, that you have neglected, and buried deep in yourself. These entities, are always with us, wherever we go. We cannot see them, but we can feel them. And opening your third eye is a chance, to hear that lost part of your personality, that is long waited for your attention. These are the things we neglect, and leave behind, thinking they will go by, without our intervention. Solving those issues, you have will help you raise your vibration, and enrich your life with better experiences. Your intuition develops, and you are able to pick up what is true, and what is false. It takes responsibility, and acquiring knowledge, to awaken your third eye. Ignorance makes us suffer, because it is a lack of awareness. When one is not ready to face the unknown, there will be personal consequences. There are perils of opening your third eye unprepared. The right way to proceed with stimulating your third eye is by getting the proper education, by reading information, knowing everything you need on the subject. If you have taken enough time to prepare yourself before opening your third eye, will be like a promise that nothing bad is going to happen to you there. Being in harmony with the creatures in the spiritual realm will ensure everything will run smooth. Living in peaceful coexistence with the spiritual world would enable you to develop your spiritual gifts and help you on your journey. Everyone must open his third eye, but everyone must be prepared before doing it. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and join our spiritual kingdom by clicking the subscribe button.